man, today on Strawberry, it has been so good. And a lot of the fish are within three or four feet of the surface. So I'm gonna bobber fish. Hi, I'm Mickey Anderson from Fish Tech with this week's fishing report. Most of the time they hit this bobber when it's just sitting still, but sometimes a little strip, bring it in really slow can be the way to do it. So indicator fishing, most people know about the coronamid type fishing, but there's another type of lure that you can use. It's called a balanced leech. Now this is tied with a bead that extends out in front of the hook. And it's actually tied on a jig hook. The advantage of an indicator is it can keep your fly at one steady depth. We're finding so many fish today in the three to five foot range that I'm gonna have this set at about four feet. The jig that's underneath of it is balanced and it sits horizontal. Now when you're casting a rig like this, throw that open loop. You've got that bobber out there and you've got a weighted fly underneath of it. You wanna throw it in more of an open loop as opposed to the nice tight dry fly cast. Watch and make sure that you see two splashes, the splash from the indicator and the splash from your fly. That way you know that you didn't tangle while you were casting. Balanced flies come in a lot of different colors. Today, for me, the black one's been working best, but for a couple other guys, this red one's been working. And you can even tie a mop fly into a balanced leech and it'll work well. Hey, for these bobber tips and a whole lot more, come on down to Fish Tech, we'll help you out. Now for tonight's fishing line.